Meow, everybody, I'm Cantonese Cat. Hey, everybody, Cantonese Cat here. A lot of people think that Ichimoku Cloud may be a little bit of a voodoo kind of thing. I keep talking about Ichimoku Cloud. It's one of my favorite indicators to go to because it really just gives you a very good visualization in terms of what's happening to a chart. The intention, the, the words Ichimoku really comes from Japanese. It's basically saying one look. You know, if you look at it, you know what you're looking at. One tool that you can really see with each move cloud is that it doesn't just provide you a cloud, but it also provides you a couple of lines over here. It provides you a um, line called the Tenken or the conversion line. It's usually more of a leading line. It also provides you a line called the Kitchen, which is the baseline, which is a lagging line. Whenever you have the leading line crossing over the um, lagging line, generally this is a pretty bullish indicator. And basically, you have a bull trend. Wherever they have a, bull, a bearish cross, you know, it might be a, a little bit of a bear trend that's happening, right? But when those two are fused together for a period of time, and this is the S&P 500 SPY ETF, when you can see that when these two lines are fused together, we have the blue and the red just kind of fused together, it really ended up precipitating a very powerful move upwards. Like right? here, you have a move over here that was fused. It really looks very impulsive. But it's interrupted by COVID, right? And then next thing you know, you have another fusion right here, another what we call a katana. When you have the red and the blue kind of just going together, you have a katana over here that ended up fusing, and that basically is precipitating a very huge move, and it and broke out to the upside, right? And you can also see the same thing like katana, katana happened over here, the S and P five hundred back in around July two thousand sixteen, all the way to around October two thousand sixteen, and that was ahead of a very powerful move, right? So you don't really see these too often, but over the last decade and a half or so, I see it maybe like three times the S&P 500. On the QQQ, you don't really see that, you know, um, but on ARK, on the um, Cafe Woods ARK Fund, when you have this crazy parabolic move that happened from 2020 to 2021, you have a katana, and that really was pushing up this move up very, very fast and very, very impulsive, right? So when you see these kind of katanas, I, I don't think it's anything to like really get ignore about. And you see these things, it can be quite powerful. Now I've also seen the katana previously on the last bull market of Ethereum. I mean, great. It's not perfect, but I see it more or less happening, right? I also saw that happening on the last bull market for Dogecoin. When it happened, it was really extremely impulsive. And on top of that, if you just don't look just the monthly time frame, right? I look at let's look at the weekly time frame. There are also a few charts that have seen the katana happening. One was the most recent memory was Robinhood. You see this katana happening, and then it broke out and it just precipitated this big breakout. You know, um, there are these um, different time frames that you can look at in terms of katana. For example, spy. Even if you just look at the current bull cycle when it really truly broke out from the uh, October slump, if you will, around 2023, um, you can see that there's a katana and really precipitated a huge move up, right? So when usually when you see that, and the same thing you can see that it works both ways. So on bear market, you can see a katana over here and that really precipitated a very, very strong down move um, downwards, right? So you can see these in different time frames, And when you see these in different time frames, it basically just means a bigger move is coming, right? Now, this is not a term that I've coined. There's actually a very good account called Titan of Crypto. If you haven't followed this um, this person, you should. Um, he does also a lot of uh, Ichimoku Cloud analysis. He likes to look at Bitcoin, different time frames, and he also uses Ichimoku Cloud. And last time when the Katana was spotted was right before it broke out into some very parabolic move all the way from like 25,000 all the way up to like 72,000, you know. And this happened around um, October of uh, 2023. And the rest is history. You know, we saw that on on Bitcoin on the weekly chart. This is a katana over here, and that really have brought a very, very huge move upwards. Right. So why am I talking about this? What am I seeing that could potentially be a katana? What can I see in terms of charts that makes me feel this, you know, potentially this bullish about it? Well, I see it in IWM. I see it on like this is the weekly time frame. And it has worked out, right? This katana has really truly worked out, right? But most importantly, I see it on a higher time frame. I see it on the on the monthly time frame where there's a katana happening right here. Now, I have not seen a katana happening 
maybe with exception over here again this this one didn't really work out because of COVID. but i haven't really truly seen like a katana katana for iwm for the russell 2000 small cap index except for really over the last few months it is really looking like it's building up a very very strong powerful move that could happen for a while now how does the math work like how does the tank in the kitchen fuse together how does that work and what is the logic behind that if you really want to know i mean i can go for a little bit of a math in terms of how you should move cloud analysis work if you just do a google search you can look at in investopedia it just shows you everything right here that you need to know there are two things that that the two lines i was talking about the tank in, in the kitchen the tank is basically just using a period average so you basically look at a period of like nine periods whereas kitchen looking at a period of 26 right so what i meant by that is the blue line is really calculated by looking at the past nine periods so the blue line right here is basically an average of the top price over here so nine candles and the bottom price over here so bottom price plus top price divided by two that's how you calculate the blue right the red is a little bit different red is not the nine period but is 26 period right so if you're talking about um 26 is really like over here is still the top for the 26 period because 26 period really probably backs up all the way to here you know you talk about the top for 26 period this is still the top and this is still the bottom so you're really talking about price just kind of ranging for a very very long time for maybe greater than like almost like well for like 26 periods right it hasn't really moved much at all and when price consolidated for about 26 periods and not moved much at all you're going to have a big breakout this is what the katana is really based on and i see this in iwm this basically means that if this works out and i think that it is going to work out but if this works out i think this could just be the beginning of a bull market like you know you're talking about 300 you're talking about some very, very big parabolic move really potentially over like the next 6, 12, 18 months or so. It can even potentially go higher because it's a very, very powerful indicator. So the way I see it is if you see something like this, it's not to be ignored. And I also see this in another thing too on the monthly chart that makes me go, hmm, very interesting. First of all, I looked through all the crypto um, so far. I'm not really seeing that on either monthly or the weekly. I'm not really seeing a whole heck of a uh, katana of any of these, you know, crypto lists that I'm following currently. But there's one thing that I saw that was very interesting. It looks like it's forming a katana. Unfortunately, the price is underneath the katana right now. But when was the last time I saw a katana for this stock in a monthly? I saw a katana for a stock in a monthly reform around November 2020. It was underneath the uh, monthly Shibuku cloud. And when that happened, it was a very, very impulsive move up. The Katana is happening right now. From around May of um, 2024, just a couple of months ago. And so far, the Katana is still intact. You would expect that because you have so many different candles over here. And this is the top and this is the bottom. <laughs> this, this is not going to change for a while unless the price breaks out upwards or downwards. And we have something like this, it basically tells you like a bigger move is going to come, is going to come pretty soon. Currently, prices underneath the Tekken occasion, which is a little bit worrisome, you know. Ideally, I like to see kind of above that here, but um, but it's just basically telling me I think a bigger move is coming. I don't know which way, if I have to guess, if either VM is going up, I can totally see a lot of like degenerate, uh, degenerates like having liquidity kind of shifted from um, having potential future gains on um, smaller cap. Um, speculative stocks, things like that. I can totally see that money moving from IWM over to like meme stocks like uh, like GME. I can totally see that. But those two are really like the monthly charts that I'm really seeing like a true katana. And when I see katanas, I get a little bit more alert, you know, in terms of what things could happen in the future. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you a little bit of a map behind each book cloud as well as what I'm seeing here that could potentially transpire relatively soon over the next 6, 12 to 18 months. We'll see if it happens like I you know, suspected. But anyway, thank you so much for listening. Have a good one. Bye.